Cosmic Glossary, we're going to look at the meanings of several words about objects in the universe. And uh, the first few will relate to the Cosmic Survey exercise, if you're uh, doing that one. So Spiral Galaxy, um, pretty large, uh, multiple star systems within them, flat rotating disks, and a, a central collection of them known as the bulge. And the Pleiades star cluster, and this is one of the closest ones to Earth. Uh, it says middle-aged, it's about two and a half billion years old. The Hubble Space Telescope uh, looks into the universe for astronomers to see distant objects and it benefits over Earth-based telescopes because it doesn't have to look through the atmosphere first. The Earth's natural satellite, the Moon, and uh, the fifth largest satellite, Moon, in the solar system. Looking at Saturn, sixth planet away from the Sun, and of course it has the a ring system around it, and it's uh, nine times the radius of the Earth. And the Sun in the center of our solar system, uh, important energy source for everything, every living thing on Earth. And we're dealing with over a hundred Earths would fit across its diameter. Uh, the Hubble Deep Field Galaxies, actually seen with the uh, Hubble uh, Space Telescope. So you're looking at a large number of galaxies, spiral and otherwise, uh, out in deep space. Uh, planet, uh, astronomical body. Uh, here we've got the ones uh, that are uh, rotating around the sun. Black hole. Um, here we've got one that was taken by the Spitzer Space Telescope. A little black dot in the center is the actual black hole where you're getting no light from it. And so all you see is, is the darkness. Oort cloud just uh, beyond, uh, outside uh, the solar system, uh, the heliosphere, which is the uh, influence of the sun. And it's really quite a deep body, uh, equal to, what, two-thirds of the radius of the solar system. Uh, here's uh, a meteorite, a particular one from Namibia in uh, Africa, and these are ones that uh, are objects that were in space, uh, then they're known as meteoroids. Then they, they're coming through the Earth's atmosphere. They glow because of the increased friction of a high-velocity object coming through uh, the, the gaseous uh, around the, the Earth. And then when they, then they, when they land, uh, they're called meteorites. And here we've got a, a pulsar, uh, a magnetized neutron star that's rotating and um, with beams of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, they're very dense and rotate really quite rapidly. Uh, Kuiper belt object, uh, these are in the outer uh, solar system, uh, coming into the solar system and, and beyond not as far out as the Oort cloud. Uh, asteroid, and so there in the uh, solar system, 
between Mars and Jupiter, and they're a variety of objects. They can be uh, small as a piece of dust uh, and what a planetoid being several uh, kilometers in, in diameter. Uh, the asteroid belt, so the collection of asteroids here seen in the orbit between uh, Mars and Jupiter. And almost on uh, Jupiter's orbit, you've got the Trojan asteroids you can see in the diagram as well. Uh, nebula, uh, just a cloud dust of helium. Uh, hydrogen, helium, and other ionized gases. And that's part of the cosmic glossary.